In ancient times, when wars were still taking place in many countries in the world, weapon technology was continuously updated from the usual forms to strange and unique shapes that made us amazed. Not only weapons, some war vehicles also undergo a renewal of a unique form. Weapons are like an important need in the military world. One of the military advances that the country has can be seen from what war technology they have, as well as combat vehicles that are increasingly developing over time. Some examples that we can see are the US states, China, and Russia which has recently made stealth bomber aircraft for its military combat vehicle equipment. Okay friends before we continue this interesting and useful discussion, please subscribe to the channel Mr. Oxim in advance for support so that this channel is growing and can provide even more interesting and useful information about the military world, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first person to get the next video from me. The United States, China and Russia are developing stealth bomber aircraft. All three are B-21 from the US, H-20 from China and Pac-DA from Russia, all three of which are claimed to be the best bomber. All three planes have the same shape, and are installed with various advanced technologies, including nuclear weapons. But what are the differences between the three planes? B-21 stealth bomber is being prepared for the US Air Force by Northrop Grumman. But this new high-tech bomber is not alone, there were also Chinese H-20 stealth bombers, who were expected to fly soon in one or two years, and Russia does not want to be left behind in terms of its military technology by developing Tupolev Pak-DA which is no less terrible. The first is Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. It's a stealth tech warplane used for bombing. The aircraft, made from thermoplastic material, was used by the U.S. Air Force. Northrop Grumman is the main contractor for a U.S. Air Force stealth B-2 Spirit bomber. Stealth bomber type first flight July 17, 1989. Status of active service main user of the United States Air Force. Total production 21. Unit price of $737 million to $2.2 billion. This aircraft was first introduced to the public, 1988 and first flew, July 17, 1989, with status still active. This aircraft is not capable of flying fast and is easily destroyed if seen. Therefore, Northrop Grumman has developed a new radar absorbent coating to conserve the characteristics of stealth B-2 drastically, in order to reduce maintenance time. The new material, known as High Frequency Alternative Material AHFM, is sprayed by four independently controlled robots. The mission of this aircraft is to destroy enemy bases or military bases without visible radar. The advantage of the B-2 is that it can penetrate sophisticated air defense radar shields. The aircraft is capable of attacking all targets from altitudes up to 50,000 feet (16,656 kilometers) from sea level, with a range of more than 6,000 nanometers, without refueling, unrefueled, and more than 10,000 nanometers with one refueling, giving the ability to fly to any point in the world in a few hours. 21 B-2 Spirit units were first sent to the Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, in December 1993. In the first three years of service, the B-2 Spirit's operations reached a reliability level of 90% during a surprise attack. An assessment published by the USAF shows that two B-2 Spirit units with precision weapons can do the work of 75 conventional aircraft. For overseas mission assignments, a hangar system has also been developed that can be transported to various destinations, in various countries. A hangar system, having a length of 126 feet, a width of 55 feet and a height of 250 feet. The first hangar had been set up at the Ago Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Before the hangar system was developed, each time a mission was fulfilled, the B-2 Spirit had to return to Whiteman AFB, to maintain the stealth features of the aircraft. The B-2 Spirit was used for the first time during Operation Iraqi Freedom in March, April 2003. 
In March 2005, the B-2 squadron was placed for the first time to the Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, along with B-1 and B-52 warplanes, to support and strengthen the defense of the USAF Asia-Pacific Command. Others focused on fighting in the Middle East. These demons are often seen in Kosovo, Iraq and Afghanistan. The making of the futuristic triangle-shaped aircraft cost US$737 million United States dollars per unit. These costs make stealth bombers the most expensive military aircraft in the world. B-2 Spirit is a bomber with stealth technology that is the mainstay of the U.S. Air Force for long-distance operations. The B-2 Spirit aircraft is considered one of the strategic bombers whose capabilities have been recognized by the military. Its unique abilities, including its stealth characteristics, allow this bomber to penetrate even the most stringent enemy defenses, and with high precision can drop bombs on vital targets of the opponent. The strength of the B-2 Spirit was demonstrated in military operations in Iraq a few years ago. The B-2 Spirit strategic bomber is only owned and operated by the U.S. This stealth aircraft is a combination of the farthest cruising range, the largest armory carrying capacity, and stealth technology that is unmatched by any air military force. Without refueling, the B-2 Spirit can fly 6,000 nautical miles, and with one refill in the air, this aircraft can travel 10,000 nautical miles. With a carrying capacity of 20 tons of conventional and nuclear weapons and sending them in the right weather conditions. Stealth technology continues to play an important role in the development of the H-20 bomber. The H-20 has additional capabilities, with a full spectrum increase compared to the current operational bomber fleet, and will use many fifth-generation combat technologies in its designs. Hong-20 is a strategic long-range bomber. The H-20 is widely believed to be analogous to the U.S. Air Force's B-2 Spirit stealth bomber manufactured by Northrop Grumman, both in design and range. The H-20 is projected to have a range of 5,000 miles without refueling. Some observers believe that the H-20 will do double duty as a surveillance and control command similar to the US F-35 stealth fighter. This makes sense, because China has developed a variety of long-range, land and sea missiles, but there is no need to have a strong surveillance network to form a chain of attack that signals these missiles for long-range targets. Theoretically, the H-20 can lead in front, spy on the opponent's position using AESA radar, merge information into shooting platforms hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away. H-20 can also be used for electronic warfare. H-20 is also likely to be able to carry nuclear weapons. Even though H-6 is a genuine Chinese nuclear bomber, this is no longer configured for a nuclear attack, although that may change. The development of Chinese stealth aircraft technology in J-20 and J-31 stealth warplanes is a precondition for the H-20 project, so it appears to be a development of the Y-20 giant cargo aircraft. This is to improve the ability to build large and long-range aircraft with modern computer design and manufacturing techniques, precision technology for mass production of stealth aircraft exteriors. The new strategic bomber is estimated to have a maximum combat radius of 8,000 km with a payload between 10 to 23 tons, a payload capacity of H-6 and B-2. This is because the H-20 is designed to attack. Tupolev Pak DA is the latest generation of Russian stealth bomber planes designed to be produced for the Russian Air Force. This supersonic aircraft has a range of up to 12,000 km carrying conventional and nuclear bombs weighing up to 30 tons. This aircraft uses an upgraded Tier II Kuznetsov NK-32 turbofan engine which was originally used for the enhanced Tupolev Tu-160M bomber. This machine has the ability to do non-stop fights for 30 hours, and also resistant to temperatures below 30 degrees Celsius and can withstand temperatures of 60 degrees Celsius and even to the effects of nuclear explosions though. Chairman of the Defense and Security Committee at the Russian Parliament's Upper House Viktor Bondarev had previously said that R&D work on the latest generation pak da stealth bomber was designed to replace the Russian Tu-22M3, Tu-95MS and Tu-160MS bomber and Tu-160 bombers. Delivery of the latest Russian stealth bomber aircraft, pak da to the Russian Air Force is expected to begin in 2025-2030 after the trials are carried out. 
According to CEO Tukolov, the manufacturing of the Pak DA can be compared to the time frame for the creation of the supersonic passenger plane Tu-144, equivalent to about five to seven years. According to Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov, the latest generation Russian Pak DA stealth bomber might fly to the sky between 2025 2026 and begin mass production in 2028 2029. Okay friends, that's the information of some sophisticated bomber planes in the world, if you think this video is important, share this video on your social media, so your friends also know about what you already know, don't forget to subscribe for those of you who haven't subscribed, thanks for watching this video, see you in the next video.